In this week's Workshop Wednesday, we're going to talk about setting goals, or actually now called key events, inside of Google Analytics 4. Welcome. My name is Julie Brody, Director of Measurement for brands like MeasurementMarketing.io, DataDriven U, and Measure Summit. I've been building actual dashboards and teaching measurement marketing for a really long time, and myself and our amazing team of instructors still actually handle clients, not just teaching stuff, so we always get to see the crazy cool stuff and have lots of experience experience with lots of different platforms. So if you have a question, let us know. We always love a really good puzzle to solve. And as we go through this particular training, always remember the one thing. Don't try to grab everything we're going to throw at you today. Just get the one thing. Come back tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and grab something else. And that way you can constantly continue to grow and not get overwhelmed. So let's go ahead and get started. Setting key events in Google Analytics 4. First, we're going to start out with key events without Google Tag Manager. So if you just got started or if your client is not quite convinced that they need to use Google Tag Manager, but you want to take advantage of this thing called key events, then we can definitely do that without even using Google Tag Manager. We can use it with the regular old Google Tag, um, the standard, you know, basic installation. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. Inside of your Google Analytics, you probably came to a spot that looks like this in the home section. So we're going to come actually down here to this bottom little piece down here, your admin section. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit to this section with events and key events. So I'm going to hover just a little bit so you can see these. You can, If you wanted to go through and click on this, I always encourage you to go through and see the help docs if they have them because a lot of the times they are really useful and they do try to keep them up to date for the most part. Um, so Google Analytics, the old Universal Analytics, the old GA3 Universal Analytics had something called goals. And then when GA4 came out, it was called conversions. Um, but uh, recently in 2024, they said, hey, no, we're going to call them key events. And it switched over for uh, briefly and then it switched right back to conversions. I guess it was kind of confusing. But now it has been here to stay. Key events is happening here. Um, but the reason, main reason why they switched the verbiage from key event to uh, from conversion was so that there wouldn't be some confusion inside of Google Ads because people were setting up conversions inside of universe or excuse inside of GA4 and then they were expecting them to populate in Google Ads and that's not how the platforms work. So it is called key events. You can always go through and hear and see the help doc and then it talks about conversions and all these other things and so completely some, something completely different, completely separate um, pro tip it, from across all the different Google Ads people we've ever worked with in, inside of our masterminds. They all said the best way is to set up your conversions through Google Tag Manager. So another great reason to have Google Tag Manager, but let's talk about how to set up these events without Google Tag Manager. So in this case, we're going to have our events come through here and we do have Tag Manager on here, but then we could see all of our different event names. So once we have our event name, all we have to do is flip a toggle. This is as mark as key event. So all we need to get an event coming through here without using Tag Manager. And we have two different things up here that can, uh, we can see that are options. We can see modify event or create an event. And so modify an event is something where maybe you want to change, oh, maybe in Tag Manager, we accidentally sent it through as lead, but we know um, because of the recommended event name, it needs to be generate lead. So that's just how a modify event, that's changing the name as it, as so it can be stored in Google Analytics the way you want it to. Creating an event is the thing that we're looking for. And here is a simple example of how that can ha how we could do that. So again, generate lead is the way that they want the lead information to come through. If we go back to some of those help docs, you can even come through and eventually you'll get to where it talks about recommended events and all these other different things. Um, automatically collected, enhanced, recommended. You can go through all of these uh, docs and you could, you could see what it is that it recommends for things to be named. And generate lead is one of the ones that it recommends. And so we're going to stick with that naming convention. Then you just go through and build your logic. So in this case, we're saying event name equals to a page view. 
because that's the that's also a a type of event is a page view and the page location is kind of the URL portion of the of the uh, of the page view it contains so we're not saying equal to we're saying contains this little piece and that's what we're saying is how we created our generate lead so take a screenshot of this because uh, if you're going to be using page views you're going to need both pieces of this logic um, for this to work because a page location can technically happen on a scroll or a click or anything else so you need to know hey it was a page view event and the page location contains this piece here and we can definitely dive deeper into all the hows and whys but i know you want to get a quick win of being able to set up a uh, custom event we have we talk about all the hows and whys and what's all how this data is all collected and organized in our courses so if you want that we can just jump back into the courses and you can get that but for quick answers this is what you'll do so again we want to create something um, and let's say we're going to go to our site real quick and let's say I wanted to create a, a an event. Technically, it's not a key event yet. I wanted a key, a key event for this portion of the URL. So I'm going to use this and this is exactly how you would do this. So I'm going to say um, this is going to. So I'm going to just whatever I want to call this toolbox um, offer page normally I would have a completely different type of naming convention but I need you to be able to see this as something separate um, and so that way we're doing this actually uh, and you know you would probably use the term generate lead and it would be where they would actually have the lead but I wanted you to be able to see something completely different than what we currently have so event name and then I'm going to start typing in page underscore view sometimes it'll auto populate sometimes it doesn't that's okay and then remember what we chose we wanted page location and this is easy populating and then we're going to choose contains because that's going to make it a little bit more open and we don't have to worry about subdomains and all these other different things and parameters and all this other stuff and so i want to get rid of that slash in case sometimes it's not there and so that is all we would have to do for this and so if you're using our act mess method so it's ask consider transact so that would be toolbox underscore ask and uh, that's what this page would be then following page uh, or whatever signal it would be could be consider and then it could be transact with a complete and so there's lots of different ways you can organize your events in here and you can even go through um, and see some of the ones that you uh, the recommended type names you see in there so I'm not going to go ahead and say that we're going to discard the changes and we're going to hop back into our main event all of our event list here and so all we would have to do as soon as we would start uh, seeing traffic come through we would just have to flip the toggle that is all we would have to do now if you don't see your name of your uh, event listed here you can hop over to key event and you can create a new key event so let's say if I was doing my toolbox ask I could just save it so as soon as it starts getting traffic it's going to start considering it a key event and so that's one way to do that here um, as well same thing this part actually works for tool uh, for Google Tag Manager as well so if you create it in maybe the traffic's going to hit at midnight and you really don't feel like staying up that late to flip the toggle you can just force it in here just make sure you have the exact name for it to work that way and so you can see here's all the things that are marked as a key event and you'll notice that purchase you cannot flip off or purchase is always going to be marked as a key event generate lead however even though it is their recommended way of you know showing leads you can turn this one on and off for that so that is how to create those uh, key events without Google Tag Manager let's talk about how to create those key events with Google Tag Manager all right for our example of using our teaching account um, we are now in our Google Tag Manager and as you can see here we have what we our custom events so we have something called Academy as consider transact so remember we called it a C T or a C T it's just a it's our strategy way of using a journey and basically making building reports and stuff insanely easy because we have the system for these different uh, user journeys for that and so we have 
um, our toolbox this is the one you just saw ask consider and transact we have those and we have a generate lead as well so let's hop into the generate lead because that's something that's very simple that you would be using as well and so all it is is coming in here and putting in your measurement ID you can use what we have here as a variable when we see the little braces or squiggly lines um, that is indicative of a uh, a, a variable and that's also this little Lego block these are variables and so we're using that you might have a number here or a letter number combination here and then the event name is whatever it is you're going to call it in this case we're you talking about the generate lead and then we tell it when we want that to happen so the tag is all the what and the trigger is the when um, and so that way we're saying, hey, it's when it happens on this page or when it happens on this page, I need you to tell Google Analytics about a generate lead. Then as we come back in here, then we know uh, after we go through and test in what we call TBV, trust but verify, uh, that it's all coming through, then the information is going to come through in this way and then we just would flip the toggle or like we showed in the previous without Google Tag Manager, you can always force it to come through here. If you don't have any data let, data currently and you don't wanna wait on it, you can come in here and say generate lead. It's already there, so it's not going to let me save it, um, but you could force it through if you didn't already have that information coming through and say new key event um, there. Um, but then we go back to our Google Tag Manager and let's say if you were uh, creating something brand new, um, you would come through here, create your uh, tag, say Google Analytics and say we want to do an event. And then you would put your measurement ID in here. If you're like, well, I don't know where my measurement ID is. That's OK. We're going to show you super fast so you can see where it's at. It's this little guy right here. So we went to data streams and then we chose our data stream and then we copied that. And in this case, I'm just going to paste it in and then you can go through and type in whatever event name it is. Remember, we were like toolbox and we could say ask Remember, because that's the very first one of our ask, consider and transact. Or we can just say toolbox offer page if that's the way that you're going to do it. If you have a strategy that works well for you, perfect. If you want to use our strategy, you can use the ask method and then you would s set up whatever it is that it needs to fire. So meaning this is the what is firing and technically this is the where and this is the when it is going to fire, when it's going to fire there. And I'm going to discard this because we're not going to save this. And then you would have to make sure you submit and make the changes live. If you still see something like this and uh, I'm going to go to versions real quick and then I'm going to hop back to workspace just because it's easier to see it this way. If you see anything here like this is obviously our teaching account. and We play with this all the time. Um, and so if you see anything like this, your changes are not live. And so you need to make sure you submit and publish your changes for them to be live and uh, be coming coming to your site and like for the users that are coming to your site how I say it that way for the users coming to your site it'll start collecting that data otherwise you won't have any data coming through and so that is how you set up your key events inside or using Google Tag Manager as well so the idea is that you send those events in the same way and then you just make sure that you mark them as key events. You can flip the toggle or as we mentioned, you can create a new key event. Make sure it's not listed here. So that way, as soon as you start seeing that traffic come through, it is ready to go. And again, the reason why we have it as called a key event instead of conversions, um, and you can see the little information up here is to kind of make it easier for those that are using Google Ads and Google Analytics. There's not that confusion of, hey, it's a conversion in Google Analytics, so it must be a conversion inside Google Ads. Um, there's lots of confusion with that. So it is not true. If you need to know how to do stuff in Google Ads, then obviously follow that documentation with there. And again, from every mastermind, every Google Analytics, or excuse me, Google Ads expert we've ever talked to, using Google Tag Manager is the best way to get those Google Ads conversions configured. So, and that's actually really, really easy. I'm just gonna pop this in here just so you can see. It is quite literally needing to know a conversion ID and a conversion label. We need those two pieces, and then you need to know the win. It, it's literally copying and pasting just the win, like what page do you need this to happen on or whatever it is. So it's insanely easy to get those things set up for Google Ads. Um, pretty 
pretty fast. Um, and so if you have any questions on that, just let us know. We're always here to help you. And so what was your one thing as you went through this? There was quite a bit going on. I um, hope you learned quite a bit. And then so if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you back next time. And if you like the strategy bits and pieces that we were kind of throwing in there, if you want to know more about our strategy, what we call our measure marketing framework, we do have a free course back there for you in our membership site. If you want to know more about that, along with all the other courses, you can go to measure.tips slash get academy and find out more about that free course. If you want to know about our measurement marketing framework and learn that strategy for yourself. And so that was setting key events in Google Analytics 4. We'll see you next time.